And Ben, you were just telling me there's a really cool meteor shower that's going on right I now. I saw a couple last night. Mm -hmm. Tonight and tomorrow night, Danielle, will probably be our best view simply because we'll have the clear skies. Peak is Monday night, not so clear. Kind <laughs> so, of cloudy, yeah. Yeah, so the Perseids, of course, are one of the best views of the year. Meteors moving at 37 miles per second emanating from the constellation Perseus in the northeast. But you just focus your view straight up. If you can get especially into a dark sky away from city lights, shooting stars are pieces of debris from a comet that burns up in our upper atmosphere, emitting streaks of light. But allow about 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the dark skies. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, this is the radiance, so that's where uh, the meteor shower originates from. But our other concern will be a fairly bright moon, so that has a washing out effect. But I think we're still going to be okay in terms of seeing some of the meteors. But other parts of the country and parts of the Midwest, not so lucky. I think it's going to be too cloudy the next couple of days to the north and west of the Buckeye State, even northern Ohio. Patchy clouds for us, uh, but probably the better view may be southeast Ohio into Kentucky, where skies are apt to remain clear. High pressure is building in, so that gives us a chance tonight because that's taking away the daytime cloud cover. So this is looking pretty good for tonight and probably tomorrow night as well.